What does God want from me? Of all the questions I've asked so far, I found this one to be the most challenging. Not because the answer was hard to find, but because of what the answer involved. Luke 9.23 says, If anyone wants to follow me, he must say no to himself. He must pick up his cross every day and follow me. Now, I've spent a lot of time thinking about this verse and what it should mean to my life. I've also spent time reading what other people have to say about this verse. And I've spent a lot of time in prayer. And God's given me this answer. He wants me to live my life totally abandoned to His will. Now this answer may be obvious. It's real easy to say. We even sing the song, All to Jesus I Surrender, All to Him I Freely Give. But when it really comes down to it, is it really that easy to live that lifestyle? Can I follow Jesus no matter the cost? Am I willing to lay it all in the line for Him? Now at this point I can quote countless verses that talk with this. But unless I'm ready to follow Jesus no matter where He leads, then those are just words in a book. James 1.22 says, Be a doer's word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. And when times are good, it's really easy to say, yes, Jesus, I'll follow you no matter where you lead. But when I'm tested, and yes, I will be tested, it's only then that by putting faith in God that I can pass those tests. And when I look to the Bible for insight on this, I can find no better example than the account of Abraham and Isaac found in Genesis chapter 22. Now, this is a well-known story, but what I wonder is, what would I have done if I was in Abraham's place? Or how would Abraham's life have been different if he had chosen not to follow God? I have the benefit of knowing the whole story, but as was happening, Abraham didn't know what the outcome was going to be. All he knew that if God asked him to do something, he was going to do it no matter what. Now these tests aren't for God's benefit, but they're for ours. They're meant to strengthen our faith, but also to prove that we have free will. We have to choose to follow God, and we have to do that on a daily basis. Part of the ministry God has called me to is to serve at Galcom International, and you can find out more about them at their website. 1 Peter 4, 10 and 11 says this, God's gifts of grace come in many forms. Each of you has received a gift in order to serve others. You should use it faithfully. If you speak, you should do it like one speaking God's very words. If you serve, you should do it with the strength God provides. Then in all things, God will be praised through Jesus Christ. To him the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Now I have skills and abilities that I can use to help with the work that God comes doing around the world. My challenge right now is to have faith in God that he will provide the resources that I need. When I want to try to figure out for myself what I really should be doing, it's having faith that God will take care of it. And I should just be, be, be preparing myself to go when and where I'm needed.